Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, I keep on making video that I forget to upload later on or maybe I lose interest. Uh, some of them is just ranting about the impossibility to get any uh, new Rolex and it's not very interesting to listen to. And anyway, there's so many new YouTube channels these days, it's crazy. Every time I open YouTube, I see five new channels. Uh, it's getting hard to be, uh, to be interesting. But anyway, somebody was commenting on the video for the SPB 149, uh, the Seiko Prospects. Um, asking uh, if it was really the uh, Tudor Black Bay Blue killer, which I haven't heard before. Uh, but I thought, hey, why not? Uh, let's compare them and see, uh, see, see what's what. I haven't prepared anything. Let's just see uh, what they inspire me after a couple of months of ownership of the, the Tudor. I got it on the first day of the, of the release and uh, about a month of ownership of this Seiko, which I'm wearing more and more, I have to say. I'm uh, really loving the the blue, that blue gray dial, that sort of gradient. It's a very unusual, unusual color. Hard to capture actually on a on on a picture, but in person, really a beautiful, a beautiful dial. Uh, obviously, the the price is, is very different. So you know they, you can't say that one is better than the other when the price is so different. It's about eleven hundred, twelve hundred for the the Seiko, and it's a limited edition of fifty five hundred pieces. And uh, Tudor is about 3,600 US. Uh, and although it's not limited, it's quite hard to, to find now. Uh, here in Hong Kong, uh, they, they go out at, um, at quite a steep premium, about 20% 20, 20 now for, for a new one. I mean, everything is at a crazy premium, even the used stuff uh, from, from, from Rolex. Uh, the Rolex Tudor is really, really hot right now. So we will see. It, it's bound to calm down at some point. Uh, right now, dealers are just having a, a field day. Now, the first thing I want to say is that to me, the Tudor is obviously more more poised. You know, it's 39 millimeters. The case, they just nailed it. All the proportions, uh, the beautiful crown. The, the way it wears 39 millimeter, it is just fantastic. Uh, for I think for any wrist, for me, you know, I can wear 42 millimeters watches, but this is this is super, super, super. And, uh, and I, but I wear more my, my black one because it's the one that I put a lot of dings into and that I use for rougher activities uh, when, I, when I go out to the beach and, uh, and play with the kids and stuff. Uh, the blue one, I tend to babysit uh, a little bit more. I find the blue wears uh, easier with any clothes you're going to wear, especially formal clothes, while the faded black doesn't really marry so, so well. Uh, but it's great when you wear casual, uh, casual clothes. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. Although the steel here is a bit brighter uh, in, in color, uh, but but here very simple uh, uh, colors. Um, I mean, if if you love the the hands, the choice of the snowflake and uh, and all that, and if you don't need a, a date, perfect perfect watch. If you have that budget, just under four thousand. Uh, I love it and the, the bracelet has been really treating me well, never pinches my, my skin, very comfortable and, uh, and the clasp, which by the way, you open simply by pulling, pulling on it. <laughs> you know, I think I showed like five different ways to open it, while the uh, easiest way is simply to, to pull it out <laughs> and it's so easy, uh, really effortless uh, compared to the, uh, the other ways that I was finding, uh, pushing it from under, putting it here or whatever. Uh, it was so really enjoying those uh, those Tudor Black Bay 58s, and uh, it's normal that they are in high demand. Beautiful color on the on the blue, uh, and you know both are sort of uh, shout out to the past, but adapted to the to today's um, you know whatever today's uh, design and manufacture process. So you get an amazing. Um, movement especially in the Tudor it's super accurate within honestly one second plus or minus uh, every day on the both of my uh, black base so they're, they're really good 70 hours of power reserve so it keeps on running if you have uh, uh, some kind of rotation in your in your collection but you can say the same about the Seiko which has also 70 hours of power reserve finally and that is great but here you have a smooth uh, sweep 4 hertz same as Rolex same as many watches uh, while uh, Seiko still uh, has only three hertz, so you s it's not the same uh, smooth sweep, and it's even more noticeable because of the uh, the tip of the second hand, which is a rectangle, 
but it's loom so that is also very cool also loom on this one the loom you know very good on on both watches um kind of lime green on the on, on this one green on the on the seiko uh they're, they're pretty much on par but to me here the beauty of the the case is just fantastic that uh, little little bevel that even rolex doesn't do anymore they just nailed it they give you everything and there's nothing that i don't like about the the tudor now comparing with the more affordable uh sibling here also uh, a diver rated at 200 meters uh, but here you have a date function, which is really well done, actually, uh, nicely sunk in uh, into the, the dial. Uh, the, the hands are very cool, the hand set and the, the touch of gold. And uh, as I said, the color of the, the dial is, uh, is really fascinating. So this one is a reinterpretation of the 62 MAS, the original diver. And uh, they've taken some liberties, just like the Tudor uh, did, sort of. Uh, and here the ba biggest difference is the the bezel is uh, is quite it's a bit larger uh, the sla uh, version is much more closer to the original and uh, and i think much nicer the, the smaller bezel have that vintage look uh, you can say the same about the omega semester 300 uh, the real reissue version has a thinner bezel and it looks really cool but nevertheless i'm, g I'm getting used to the the, the look of, of this uh, I'll also mention that the bezel is uh, slightly raised, you know, it's not, you see that there's quite some uh, distance there, uh, which you don't have with the Tudor, making it uh, much more appealing. I really don't like when uh, there's too much, uh, too much height there on, on the watch. So there, I w they could have done it a bit tidier. Uh, still, they made a big effort to make it smaller at 40 millimeters. That's great, just like they did with uh, Captain Wheeler at 42 bringing the sizes down it wears fantastic on the wrist just perfection on, on, on the wrist um but yeah it feels a bit bigger because of this uh, bezel and uh, a, a bit of a, a bit more depth overall uh, but it really makes up for it with, with the look and on the strap uh that strap is very soft it's very nice i'm not a big fan of uh rubber and silicone it, i find that Usually they give me a bit of uh, uh, irritation compared to the most steels. The steel of the Tudor is, is very nice. Steel of the Rolex, I prefer it. Uh, but the, the Seiko steel, for example, uh, so this watch comes with the same bracelet as the, the Willard, which I have here, uh, which is a good looking bracelet, actually. Uh, reminds me of the bracelets uh, of the, um, of, uh, of Omega. You see if you see what i mean but a lot less a lot heavier uh they make a lot of uh, rattle the clasp is very very big and um while i like this uh, the wheel on the bracelet this one here just it, it doesn't work with the with the look it's nice with the black dial but not really with the with the blue so it went straight on the the strap and uh, the strap is very soft those new straps and they look beautiful i like the the change of a uh, texture uh, very soft in the in in the back. Not not huge fan of the the minder, which you know tends to trap your your wrist hair. As you can see, uh, I have quite a bit of hair on my wrist, and uh, and the buckle is a bit I wouldn't say clunky. It's, it's a bit big, you know. Uh, while, while the watch is it's fairly refined in the end. Um, well, the reason to get, get this model in the six two mas uh, reissues and all that. Is that is that cool case the original design with those uh, th those uh, square angles? Uh, there's an addition of a nice bevel here, really beautifully made. I mean, at this price point, Seiko or even lower, Seiko always nails it uh, with this uh, beautiful, beautiful case. And uh, look at the I would almost say double domed, uh, almost uh, here, uh, crystal. Um, finally, they put sapphire and 70 hours of power reserve. So you, you get a lot. And, and with the date, it, it's a more complete watch in a way than the, than the Tudor. Uh, the um, accuracy, not so good. The 6R35, so far my experience, it, it can vary quite a bit. It tends to run a bit fast, some uh, maybe between 5 and 10 seconds fast. It's not the end of the world if you like the watch. Uh, but it's not a precision instrument. That a Tudor and of course a Rolex uh, would be. 
so you have to, to keep that in mind. But the price point, I think, ma makes sense. Uh, it's, it's a new price point, I think, for, for Seiko, around $1,000, slightly, slightly above. Uh, they used to be at the 700 for the nice stuff, 300 for already some cool, cool models, and then they had more expensive Marine Masters. It's a new price point, uh, but they bring a lot of, uh, of great things with the Willard and with this um, 62 MAS uh, re reimagined uh, version. Uh, at the back, um, quite a nice actually, uh, quite, quite a ni nice back. And um, yeah, overall the watch comfortable and I didn't think I would, I would buy the watch, but when I saw it in person, it made a great impression uh, on, on me. And uh, no, a friend of mine, big shout out to, uh, to Ben, who had, we're just chatting actually, I can see his chat on my screen. Um, he, he's interested in getting the, the Tudor Blue. So I'm wondering, you know, I've been buying just too many, too many things lately. I just got uh, this, uh, this Cartier, which cost uh, more than, the, than this. Uh, you know, I still have my, my blue Maurice Lacroix. What else is, is blue? It's I, can't, I can't part with my uh, Seamaster just yet. So I'm thinking maybe I have too much blue. I already have uh, the, the, the black version. Would it be a good idea to, uh, to sell this uh, Tudor Blue? The thing, they're very difficult to get. So if I regret it, it's going to be impossible to, uh, to get one, one back. And, uh, but I have twice the same watch, just different colors. Uh, you know, I'm not made of money. So maybe it's just overkill. Uh, would it be maybe a good idea to, uh, to sell it? How has it been faring, by the way? So I've been very careful with it. There's just a couple of tiny, tiny um, scratches uh, in the... Uh, in the bracelet you can see here reflecting but otherwise the buckle is fine i always put something under my uh under the buckle when i'm uh, working at a, at a desk and uh, the rest is uh is spotless uh just a cool watch when you dress uh when you dress up or, or when you dress down you know with a nice white t-shirt uh so is the seiko the tudor killer that was the question uh, of the day I don't think you, you, you can say that. They're, they're different watches, uh, but you know, on spec, they do the same, the same thing, you know. 200 meters of uh, uh, water resistance, divers. Um, as I said, uh, you have the date on the, the Seiko, which makes it a really cool, uh, cool watch for every day. I, I would say that the conclusion is you get what you paid for, for both watches, and you feel special with both watches, I find. In a sea of Rolex everywhere and uh, more common Seikos. Uh, this one, these two stand out in the, in the crowd and um, really two really good purchases and very, very, very cool. It's nice to have a limited edition, although 5,500, you're always gonna be able to, to, to find one uh, for the Seiko. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think, which one is your, is your favorite or if like me you you like both and do you think that uh, i should sell uh, my tutor to my friend uh, ben and what premium should I, I ask him you know he makes good money he works in finance doesn't he <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching uh take care and i'll speak to you soon bye bye